Friends in Christ, Pastor Brian here. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope that your time between Christmas and New Year's was filled with family and friends and that you are as energized as we are to enter this new year of 2023. You know, the new year is one of those moments where as a society, we give each other permission to take a mulligan, to let go of some part of our lives, maybe add something new without any kind of penalty or judgment. That's where the idea of New Year's resolutions comes from. An opportunity to map out a new path for our lives over the year ahead. Do you do that? Do you make resolutions? Well, if that's something that you do, let me offer a few suggestions that might make keeping on that new path a little bit easier for the year. First, Remember that for most of the things you're going to put on that list, the change you seek will only begin happening over an extended period of time. And so that means you need to be patient and persistent in the changes that you make. I remember going to college, and over the course of the first two days, you would get five or six syllabi that listed on one page, back and front, everything you were going to do that semester in that class. And I always kind of went into sticker shock. You know, there's no way I can do all of this. And it wasn't until I took a deep breath and reminded myself, hey, you've got three and a half months to do all of this, that I could just take one thing at a time. And lo and behold, it all got done. So do the same with your resolutions. Persist in the changes you want to make. Research is inconsistent about the actual length of time, but at least six weeks is needed for something to become an automatic habit. So be persistent and the results will come. Related to that, look for incremental change over time. You're not going to get your stamina back overnight because you didn't lose it overnight. You're not going to gain that new skill overnight because how long did it take you to learn another skill? How to type or draw or use that new program? Plan on and look for incremental improvement over an extended period. The third is related to that. Celebrate the changes that are happening. Give yourself credit for what you've accomplished more than you beat yourself up for what you have left to do. Because remember, change of any lasting kind happens over time. So when you see that incremental change, celebrate. Celebrate milestones. Hey, maybe it's six weeks of consistent change to activity. Maybe it's decreased time to complete a task, whatever it might be. Celebrate those milestones, even as you encourage yourself to persist in striving to your goal. And finally, have grace with yourself. Grace is being gentle with yourself, giving yourself a break. And so give it to yourself when you fall out of your new habit. It's going to happen. Give yourself grace when you have to step back from your resolution because of things beyond your control. When life just happens. Take that grace. Readjust your plan so that you can persist and keep striving towards your goal. We at St. John pray that this year of 2023 will be one filled with good things for you and for your loved ones. And we also invite you to join us in our journey for 2023 as we strive for new goals and to grow in who we are called to be as imperfect, beloved, graced, bathed people. God's blessings. And Happy New Year.